Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was all like, I really don't want to film again because we filmed once today and I'm like, oh, it's not a bit focus. I'm all like, but then I got like this epic like haul in the mail and I was like, oh, I really need to film it now because I opened Jazz's like this one here and it was too cute not to film. So I'm like, damn it, now I have to film again and it's raining and cold and my socks got wet trying to get the mail like. If you're watching this like a week ago and you saw my Insta stories about like how my envelopes were like saturated and they were literally like just got saturated going from like the postie's hand to like the letterbox and then my hand to my raincoat, you'll understand. So Victoria got wet last week. Um, so anyway, we'll start with like the old stuff and we'll leave the new stuff to last. So that's new and that's new. And that's a replacement of new so okay so um i mentioned in my, my last haul when i was at the planet markets i picked up some labels from luscious labels and i didn't realize that they were slightly different and denise contacted me she's like oh do you want me to like send you some like another sheet and i'm like only if you can find like in your like um d stash box one that will work and she's like okay no worries so like this arrived last week and i've already used it i'm sorry I know, I know people hate it when like you use stuff before you haul it, but I just, I just couldn't help myself, okay? I'm sorry. So I did just want to mention like I did get another one of these. So I now have like three of these. Um, so I've got some more of those to add to my collection. I'm just going to put that back in my drawer. Um, I've had this sitting here for a couple of weeks now and, whoops. Um, it's a TN kit from Harriet Wright Designs. This is the second one I've got of hers and I haven't even used the first one yet. Um, but th I picked this one up because she got the paperwork. I'll take it out of the cellar so it stops glaring. Um, sorry, I paused for noises. I picked this one up because it was the same. She used the artwork that Jess, Kittenish Girl, Kittenish Girl Jess drew. Oh, I got sticky shit on my nails. Sorry, I'm not having a very good day. If you watch my plan with me later on, I don't know when this is going up, by the way, um, you'll, you'll understand that, like, I had, a, I had a bad day yesterday and I sort of feel like I'm hungry for today. Um, so anyway, she used the same clip art for the, um, the just drew. So it's like the empowered woman thing, but she didn't put the girls in. I thought, well, that's kind of cool because not everybody likes fashion girls. So that's like a journaling card. That was a bookmark. You've got your die cuts here. So she used like everything but the girls. I thought, well, it's kind of cool, but kind of not, but I could always pull in like the fashion girl clip art and stuff from... The Squirrel Prince Co kit that I've got. So I thought that's not actually a bad thing because I can just like put the stickers down on like cardstock or whatever and like use them as die cuts because I thought there's always extra fashion girls in sticker kits. We'll show you those last because they're just hard work. Um, so you did get a couple of like bigger die cuts. There's another die cut, you got your, head, your tabs. I don't like how you only get like one set of tabs. Like it's like you're only gonna look at one side of your planner. Oh no, I, I look at both. And then you get your sticker sheet there. And like I said last time, I'm not a huge fan of her paper. It's quite, it's not my favorite, but that's not gonna stop me from buying like a TN kit because I can't print vellum and acetate that well. I mean, I try, but I can't. And my printer and I are not the best of terms at the moment. And this is a huge like card, like this is bigger than B6. This is like probably a size eight. So then you've got two vellums. And then I don't remember this print being in the kit at all. So Jess, did you draw this or is this an add on? No, it must be. Um, but her paper's not too bad. Like it's not scribble print co thickness, but it's a nice like semi gloss. And it's not like a super heavy weight. So you're not gonna add um, too much thickness to your thing and I know I say um a lot and when I was watching back one of my videos I was like oh that really irritates me how do my viewers put up with that so I'm going to try and make a conscious effort to stop saying that word so here's another printed paper and all her papers are different like there's no two that are the same is what I've noticed with her kids now this is the second one that I've purchased and I don't know if this is one of the things that Jess drew or this is a pattern that the Strawberry Night had bought in. I really do like this one though. Oh no, she has doubled up on that one. And she has doubled up on the marble on this one as well. It must have been the last kit that she didn't double up on any of the prints because there were so many of them, which was the Celestial Night one or whatever it was. 
So I've had this sitting here for ages in my like two haul pile and I was like, I really, really need to do something about this. All that stuff aside too, that's huge. So there's that. And you've got your little bookmark and your tabs. And these tabs are on a quite a thin cardstock. That's okay though. And we're gonna move this to the side and we will show you the deco really quickly. And I didn't notice at first when I like bought it that it didn't have the fashion girls and it wasn't until I got it and I looked at it and I thought, oh, there's no fashion girls in here. That's diff interesting. Being a UK shop, I thought she would have been really into the different genders of the fashion girls and things like that because the UK is very gender, has a lot of different, like, um, not genders, wow, has a lot of different, different uh, nationalities and things. So... So she's done a lot of the die cuts and stuff and they're a fairly good size. So they'll work, they'll still work in a B6, that, that would, uh, B6, wow. <sighs> they'll still work in an A6 quite nicely. So that's those. They're on a fairly nice matte cardstock too. And I do this with my sticker kits as well. I keep like them together until I'm ready to use them, but I don't know if I should because then I'm like, well, maybe I could use this with another kit. So I don't know. I'm thinking I might start pulling things apart a little more and but I don't know what to do. It's a bit, a bit of a struggle bus. So I need to, I'll put all the other way later. So then later yesterday, yeah, yesterday, this came in the mail my shared order of Swivel Prince Crow Doodles arrived so I got this journaling card with it we can zoom it back in a bit now I see I can't even figure out like which way I'm working on the camera today which was the nude colorway so we got the laptops the bows the paper clips the come apart the cups and the planners which is very similar to what I got in the pink colorway so they need a home too and go in the rubbish bin and um, in one of my previous hauls I did a haul from a little mini haul from student planning with some of her foils and I, there was some issues with it and she was really really good and sorted out the issues straight away um, and these I just said that word I'm sorry so these are my replacement stickers and I'm just gonna let you know that they're absolutely perfect so thank you Brianna for fixing that and letting and being really easy to communicate with about that but so one of these is actually like peeled up i peeled this one up just to see how it was cut and then it decided to like completely come off the sheet and be like a little turd so <laughs> that was totally my fault there so yeah we might have to find this one at home somewhere like on the bag because it doesn't want to stay back down again but yeah there is not a single issue with these and they're all cut really nicely and lifting fine so thank you for fixing that and yeah. unless people like let shop owners know that there's an issue with their product they don't always know because they don't always get to check like every individual sheet because when you're mass producing you sometimes just some things slip through and that happens with small shops big shops medium-sized shops so you just need to you know remind them and it's just like you know even at the supermarket like things get missed so sometimes you just need to let people know Moving on, we have some mermaid, mermaid, we got some hollow, okay, sorry, I'm really excited there, I told you I'm in a really weird mood, I've got sort of like a, a um, I have sort of a migraine hangover, but I think I'm still a little bit drunk from it, I was trying to walk this morning and I'm like, no, nah, can't do this. Cannot do this. Ugh, I've already been in here, so we need to find my folder. Come on, you little turd. Seems to be my favourite word of the day, turd. My fiance is really lucky he's not coming down tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm running out of room on the binder. That's shit. There's another one here somewhere. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. So, we have fresh. We have our freebie. We have our sloth mermaid, our salty mermaids, our bays together, our little drink, and our little logo. More like Meuillet. Yes, Emma. It is Meuillet. 
I left her a comment. I think I said Mermaid. I, was, I think I like said it really stretched out though. I just got one die cut. It was just the little focus. Just the little um. It's not the adhesive one. Just the little cardboard one. Just her being like all felty. That's how I felt this morning. Then we picked up the sticker sheet to go with it. I got all of the ones from last year, so I just need to pick up the new ones this year. Then we have the bays together, the little friend mermaid girls together, and then the little the little Chewbacca's Chewbacca's. That's them. That is them, and they are adorable. I don't know what I'll use them for. Then I picked up extra postcards. One will be for me. I'll chuck two in my giveaway pile. I always pick up extra postcards from Fox and Cactus when they do these postcards because they are limited edition, and I like to keep one for myself. Oh, there's extras in here. Did I buy four? I only bought three. Hmm. Okay, righto. Maybe they came as a four pack. I don't know when I'm too lazy to check my order. Camera's gonna cut me off. All right, we're back. So I might keep two and give two away. I might give some to my friend. I don't know. And then this one came in all the orders. It was in, this was just a thank you for May. So we will sort that out. And then also from Fox and Cactus, I picked up a kit. I haven't used one of Emma and Tom's kits in a long time. I think it was like my like they've had a couple of paper changes since I've used one of their kits. The format of their kit hasn't really changed, but my styling, wow, my planning style has changed since I've used one of their kits. So, all right, we need to find some more room. I'm gonna have to start another folder of sticker collecting just for all your, your stickers. All right, put that away. That bit. So we have our full boxes here, which Emma drew ever so prettily. I have so many mermaid kits. I don't know when I'm going to use them all. I sort of scatter them in like throughout the year. So it's not like an influx of mermaids. And then you've got your bottom washi, some functionally stuff and a little bit of deco. Oh, they're like a thing or to the Harry Potter. Mm, very clever. Very clever. I've got some checklists. Headers and little things. And then we've got our half boxes and some more checklist flaggies and washi so I don't know when I'm going to use this I might put this in my homeless folder for now I have a folder for like every month every season of the year special events and then I bought another one for the homeless kits so the kits that I haven't decided where I'm putting them yet and then every now and again I go through and like look where I don't have a kit and then I look at my homeless folder and I'm like haha you can go there so that was it from Fox and Cactus Moving along, we have Arctic Paper Studio. I did get a, a black envelope with my name on it, but I normally just toss those. Sorry, Jazz. Um, actually, I just posted on her wall. Did she post back? Mm, somebody comment. Ah, hi, Jazz. Yes, okay. Go away, Harry Potter app. I'm not interested yet. Is anybody else playing that Harry Potter, like, um, wizarding game where you have to, like, go through all the, the thing I to collect your, do all the challenges to, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say here. Yeah. I'm having a bad day, guys. Um, anyway. Anyway. Is it like, don't pay for shit. Don't ever pay for stuff. <laughs> yes, Jazz, the mailer kept us safe from the rain. Yes, it did. <laughs> okay. So... Inside the, the inside the black envelope, you get your little cello baggie. And she stopped packing them so tight, so I don't have to struggle with opening them. Thank you. Put that in the bin. Comes with a beautiful... Woohoo! I just saw that. A beautiful doily. I always keep these doilies because I find them handy when you're doing your tea and spreads. We got a ginormous journaling card, which says love and laughter, which is very cute. We got a cute little die card. Which is like a tag with a pop-out heart in it. I got a flower. Ooh. We got the May freebie, which is very nice. Oh, 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 oh. I see what you did there, Jazz. And the reason I wanted to film, look at this. Oh, Jazz, you added yourself. This is so cute. Got like a little like charm on our little freebie. Oh, 
That is so cool. I was like, dang, this is this is the whole reason I had to film like today, try and get this up like ASAP rather than like leave it until next week because I, or over the weekend and like slowly put it up. I was like, damn girl, you you I did yourself. So this is very cute. So onto the actual stickers. I told you I'm in a weird mood. So I bought a heap of her new like headers and stuff. I was so overwhelmed with like her new like releases because like she worked so hard like for this month to get so much new stuff out. I'm just like, I'm gonna buy a little selection, figure out what I do and don't need, and then come back for some more. So I got so in the dots, in the polka dot headers, I picked up gold and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so there's 14 on each sheet. So that's enough for like two rows across Erin Condren. So I picked up the gold. I, I'm very boring with my colorways, I'm sorry, but I like to just keep it simple because normally like they're just adding a, a little flair to the spread. They're not like going full out like crazy. And then silver. Eventually I'll pick up rose gold as well. I picked up gold in the bows. And these were, um, oh no, I picked up rose gold in the, in the polka dots too. Sorry, I lied. The orders don't always come in like in order, like or it's probably just the way I added it to the cart. I don't know. I don't know. That's just a little OCD for me. Okay. Um, they, these were limited to four per customer, so I only picked up two because I was like, I don't need any more than this. These are like a holographic like foil header. I was like, I need these in my life. I don't know if I'm ever going to use them, but I'm like, I just need to sit here and shimmy them. So these were limited to four and you could pick like there was a different foils you could pick. So I picked these ones. I think I don't remember what this was called. I'm sorry if I look it up. I should look it up. I shouldn't be so lazy. Give me a second. Give me a second. Where's my Etsy app? There it is. I'm just going to shimmy that. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Blinding you all with the beautifulness. Shit, wrong button. I can't even work my phone today. That's so sad. You know you have a bad day and you can't work your phone. Um, by the way, I bought this on the 8th of May and it's the 11th and I got it today. Go to Australia Post. Go. You're actually working for a change. Um, this was the Pixie Dust foil. And there was a limit of four. So you could buy like one in each colour if you wanted. Or like four in one colour. Or like two in two. So I just bought two in this colourway because I thought, no, I don't need four. Then I picked up... These were the... Galaxy, these are the clear galaxy headers and I picked up two in gold. Um, they're just like stars and moons, they're very cute. And then, let me find the name of it so I get it right. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I want to get the name of the foil right, is more the point. Um... Okay, so I picked them up in another colorway as well, and this is the silver glitter. This, um, I've got a kit coming from Scribble Prince Co. called Planet Moon, which was drawn by Kittenish Girl Jess. And I thought these would be perfect in the silver glitter way because they've got that holographic effect. I don't have any other holographic stickers, but I thought these would be really cool to go with it. So I thought I got those. And. We'll save that till later. Okay, then I picked up some more staples, just my um, gold heart checklist that I use to mark TV shows and things. Um, some more weekend manners. These are new. These are like the thin script instead of like the opposite like effect where like they've got like the white in the middle. I thought it was like yes, girl, finally. And I got them in silver and rose gold. Slowly building up my rose gold collection. And then part of her new like release this month was like some new colorway stuff and things like that. So from the blush, um, there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. From the blush colorway collection, I picked up these gold um, hearts, and they're just a circle. They're just circled. They're not kiss cut around the heart. Thought these were really cute. They reminded me of the Sophie Pink from Club of Girl Crafts. I was like, they are cute. And then I got some bow hearts. I got them in the colorway chili. I really like this colorway. I have it in um, some flags as well. I just got the bows. And then in another colorway in the bows, I got a new colorway. I think this is a new colorway called Dahlia. And it was a really nice like pink, but it also had the darker pinks in it for winter. 
And then I picked up one of her like foiled colored samplers in the color cotton, which was like the pink color. So it gives you some headers, some checklists, some boxes, some icons, some um, some like say like writing headers and some flags. So that was my, is that everything? That appears to be everything. So that was what I got from Archie Paper Studio. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, I'm a hot mess. I just need to go sit back in front of Netflix and not do anything. <laughs> I've been watching um, 3%, so by the time you watch this, I'll finish 3% because I'm like halfway through season two, and there's only two seasons. Um, it's dubbed in, it's French, so it's dubbed, so if you can't watch dubbed, I wouldn't, <laughs> but it's really cool. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. It's a bit weird, but anyway, so that's that's my haul. Ugh, excuse the stipples. It, it's cold, and I'm not dealing Got some fox and cactus. Got some gold, gold hearts, but gold bows. Oh my gosh! Zoom out a little bit. Got some doodles, and we got some TM kits. I'm not gonna bring that back in. So, thank you guys for watching and putting up my randomness. I'm gonna go edit this and try and make it as easy as possible to deal with. Um, let me try and center that so I can get a photo. Am I gonna run out of time? Probably focus back into the colorway thank you okay thumbnail done all right cheers guys for watching um i'll catch you another time hopefully i'm not as random as this time and don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment hit the subscribe button the notification bell if you're wondering what that noise is i'm playing with a heat pack it's really cold like i've got the heater on i'm still playing with a heat pack um and i will catch you guys next time bye guys <laughs>